Hi guys, I'm Elise. You've seen me before in episode 4, the conditioning episode. Today we are going to be doing some pom routines, but first we're going to start off with a little warm up. So get into it, we're going to do a pulse raiser, high knees for 30 seconds, count it with me. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now we're going to swap to heel flicks again. 30 seconds. Make sure you get your foot all the way up to your butt. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, last pulse raise we're going to do is around the world. So the way that you do this, you're going to do 10 star jumps facing forward, then turn to the left, then turn to the back and to the right. And it's 10 each time. You want to make sure when you're at the top, you hit a high V, you've got your circles with your hands, you've got to pay attention to form. So count with me again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Now we're going to move into the stretches, starting with the arm stretch. You're going to take your left arm, bring it across your chest, use your right arm to hold it in place and stretch for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other arm. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Now you're going to take your elbow, stretch it up, and use your other hand to stretch it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other arm. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Now into leg stretches. You're going to take a forward lunge with your left leg. Make sure both feet are facing directly forward and lunge forward. 10 seconds again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Other side. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now into a side lunge. You're going to stand in second position, straight on. Just bend your leg towards the side. You should feel the stretch down here. Ten seconds again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, that is the end of the warm up. Go get a drink and then come back, and we're gonna get straight into the pom routine. Hi, guys, we've just done our warm up. Now we're gonna get into the first part of our pom routine. First, I'm gonna show you what the first three counts of eight are gonna look like, then we're gonna break it down. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 
So that was the first three counts of eight. To break it down, we're gonna start with our backs facing the camera. I'm just gonna face forward so you guys can still see me. You're gonna pop one leg up and you're gonna take your hands and place them behind your back. Now, what's really important is you need to make sure your hands look like this. So that when you have your palms there, you can still see the palms from behind. So I'm gonna show it to you without the palms so you can see what my hands are doing. So starting with one leg popped and hand like this, and you're gonna hold this. This is one, two, three. You're holding this position. Then on four, you're gonna step your left leg back and bring your hands out into a low touchdown. This is four. Remember, this is all facing backwards. So let's do that again. Starting here on one, hold two, three. On four, step back and bring your hands into a low touchdown. Again, your hands need to be in your circles, in your cinnamon rolls, and low down so that your palms look the same. You don't want to break your wrists because then your palms will look weird. So let's do that with the palms again. Count in with me and we're going to take it slow. So starting in clean on one, step up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna do that facing sideways so you can see it. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So four, step your left leg back and then come into a low touchdown. Now on five, six, and seven, you're going to bend your legs and you're gonna turn slowly to face forward, five, six, seven, and then clean on eight. So that count is pretty simple. So from here, low touchdown, left leg is back. You're gonna bend your legs and you're gonna turn five, six, seven, face the front and on eight, you're gonna clean. Okay, let's do that one more time, all the way from beginning to end of the first count of eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you're clean on eight. Legs together, hands by your side. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna step forward with your left leg and cross it over your right leg and your hands are gonna go up into a high V. Remember, you can't break your wrists because if you break your wrists, you'll see your palms don't look the same. That's really important when you have palms to make sure that your position is very accurate. So, on one, you step forward with your left leg, cross over your right leg and up into high V. Then two, bring your arms down into low V and step across with your right leg. So from clean, that's gonna look like this. One, two, okay? Then count three. You're going to bring your feet together, bend your legs and cross your arms over, crouching down like this in a prep position. So this is count three. So all together, that's going to look like this. One, two, three. Make sure your arms are crossed. So your arm, your hand, is directly underneath your elbows, like this. So, count three is this. Count four, come up, hands on hips, like this. So again, without the palms, this will look like your hands clasped around your hips, just like this, so that you can still see your palms. Let's run through that all together again. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five. You're going to bring your left leg up into a lib and your hands by your ears and elbows tucked in. It's very important that you have your elbows tucked in again because if you're doing this with a big group of people, you all want to look unison. So count five up into a lib, elbows tucked in. Hold for count six, count seven, arms out, count eight, step down into a left K. So left K, I'll show you again without the palms. From here, you're going to step your left leg out and you're gonna turn and face sideways and you're gonna put your right arm directly across your chest, not too high because you don't wanna cover your face and your left arm almost straight up, slightly diagonal so you look like a K. Straight to here, this is count eight. So to run through all of that from the second count of eight, it will look like this. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's try and run through that from the very beginning. Again, let's take it slow. Starting in clean. Five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, you should be in your left K. Okay, now for the final count of eight, from here, you're going to, I'm going to show you without the palms again. From your left K, you're going to bring your arms together into a high touchdown. And you're going to step back and you're going to go one, two, step back legs together. So from the K into a high touchdown, one, two. Then you're going to turn three, four into a regular touchdown. So I'll show you that again from the K. One, two arms, hands together, three, four, into a touchdown. And when you do that, you want to make sure you circle your hands clockwise into a touchdown. Okay, let's try that with the pumps. So from the K, you're going to go one, legs together, two, turn three, touchdown, four. Now, from here, you're going to clasp on five, and this is where the jump prep that we did came in. So... From touchdown on four, you're going to clasp on five. Then you're going to bend and swing on six, just like a jump prep. Kick on seven and clean on eight. Now, when we kick, we want to make sure our arms are in the L position and our left leg comes up straight to our hand like that. We don't want to bring our chest forward either. So let's do that with the palms from the K. So from K, it's going to be one, two legs together, turn three, touchdown four. Class five, swing six, kick seven, clean eight. Want to make sure we're clean on eight. Let's run through that one more time and then we'll do the whole thing. From K. One, two, turn three, touch down four, class five, swing six, kick seven, clean eight. Good, okay. Let's try and run through the whole thing one time slowly and then we'll try and pick up the pace a little bit. Starting in clean, count with me. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Clean. Good. Now let's try and do it a little bit faster. If you need to pause it here to run through a few more times, that's absolutely fine. If not, then just keep going. Starting and clean again, counting with me. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, okay, let's do it one more time and then we can move on to section two after you guys have a little break. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Good job, guys. Go and get a drink of water, take a little break, and then come back. I'm going to get into the second half of the routine. Hey, guys, you should be back from your water break now. If you need a little bit more time to rest, that's absolutely fine. Take as long as you need. If not, we're going to jump straight into the second quarter of our palm routine. So if you remember, we were here in clean. The next count, count one of the next count of eight, you're going to take your right leg and step out into second position. Take your left hand and pop it on your hip just like this and take your right hand and put it on your left shoulder. So this is what count one looks like. So from clean, it's going to be one. Okay, one more time. From clean, one. Then count two, you're going to flick your right hand out. It should be in a right angle position out to the side of you. Let me show you that without palms. So from clean, you're going to go one, two. Okay, from clean, one, two two you want to make sure that your hand is on your shoulder and not covering your face because then your palms will cover your face and you won't be able to see yourself so from count two you're going to take a squat position you're going to take your left arm and swing it in front of your body and take it to meet your right hand into a clasp position just above your head so this will be counts three and four so it will look like this from clean one two three four 
on four. You should be in a clasp position, feet together, hands just above your head, not too high and not too low, just here. So let's do that with palms, nice and slow, one count at a time from clean. So clean. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the first four counts. Now, I'm gonna show you this without palms again. If you were here for our previous episodes, this is where the jump prep will come in handy. So from four, you're gonna be here on four and then you're gonna do your jump prep to jump on six. So you're gonna swing five, hit your straddle jump on six, land seven, hold eight, okay? So I'm gonna show you that with the jump from clean, one count at a time. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, hit six, seven, hold eight, okay? Now let's try that with our palms. Take it nice and slow again. We wanna make sure when we swing on five, we swing as hard as we can to get as much momentum to get our jump nice and high. So from clean, one, two, three, four, five, hit it, six, seven, hold eight. Okay, let's do that one more time and then we'll move on to the next count of eight. From clean, one, two, three, four, five, six, land seven, hold eight. Okay, from here, you're going to put your left knee down onto the floor. This is count one and count two. So you can take this nice and slow. It's going to go one, two, and you're going to keep your hands in the low V position. So one, two, then three and four, you're going to turn and face front, put your hands on your hips and straighten out your right leg just like this. So it's like a side lunge position. So this is count three and four. So from here, you land on count eight. You're going to go one, two, three, four. Then count five and six, you take your hands, put them on the floor. Five, six, then seven, eight, come up and pop them on your head. That's count seven and eight. So let's run through that from count eight here. So count eight, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's try and run through that all the way from clean just here. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, okay, let's run through one more time um, and then we'll see how we're doing, okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just there you saw, I made a little mistake with my hands. One thing that's really important in cheer, any cheer routine, not just palms, if you make a mistake, don't freeze up and be like, oh, I made a mistake. Just keep going, no one will know apart from you, okay? It's best to just keep going. Let's do that one more time and then we'll connect them together and do it from the very beginning. Okay, from clean. Count with me, nice and slow. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, okay. Let's try and go one time from the beginning with palms and one time from the beginning without palms. And we're gonna do it at full speed, okay? The reason that we do it without palms is just to ensure that we have the correct hand position because we don't want to be breaking our wrists and we don't want to not have our cinnamon rolls, nice tight cinnamon rolls. So let's go from the very beginning, see if we can remember it. Count with me. Full speed. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. I did that wrong. Keep going, okay. just do it again. Start again. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, that was the first half. Now for the second half. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 
Good. Now let's try that from the very beginning with palms. And we're gonna go all the way through. We're not gonna stop in the middle like we did that this time. If you need to, get a quick drink of water, pause the video and then come back when you're ready. If not, we're gonna go all the way through from beginning to end with palms at full speed. Starting in clean, count with me. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. Okay, good job, guys. Did really well. That's the end of today's video. We're gonna jump into a cool down, get us all nice and relaxed. Okay, to end off the video guys, we're just gonna get into our cool down, relax a little bit, let our bodies go loose. So, we're gonna start with our wrists, both arms out, and you're gonna roll outwards five times. One, two, three, four, five, and then inwards. One, two, three, four, five. Now you're gonna do your arm, both arms back. One, two, three, four, five, and forwards. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if you can, you're gonna put your right arm forwards and your left arm back, go in the opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, and swap. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna do our ankles. Start with your right foot, rotate outwards. One, two, three, four, five, and inwards. One, two, three, four, five. Now other foot. One, two, three, four, five, and inwards. One, two, three, four, five. Now your head, just half circles forwards five times. One, two, three, four, five, and backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna stretch out a little bit. Feet into second position. You're gonna take your right arm up, left arm over your stomach and just stretch over. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn, do flat back. Five, four, three, two, one. Nose to your knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Down to the middle. Five, four, three, two, one. Nose to your other knee. Five, four, three, two, one. Flat back. Five, four, three, two, one. One, over, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's it for the cool down, to cool down today, guys. Well done. Uh, for your call of action, I want you guys to try and run the routine three times or as many times as you can. Then, for a little challenge, I want you to create your own count of eight and add it to the end of routine. Get a little bit creative, have a little bit of freestyle, try and use some of the things that you've learned in the past episodes and add it to your last count of eight. Thanks for watching today, guys. Tune in next week and you're going to learn the second half of the POM routine that we did today.